Hey everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are currently growing our team and are looking to talk with 360 degree recruiters that want to work in a flexible, autonomous role. In the description box there is more information on the role. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts and all of our shows and news. Below is also a link. Watch out for our new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week sees Oracle signing an agreement to acquire datascience.com. The platform provides centralized data science tools, project and infrastructure in a fully governed workspace. It is designed to be used by data scientists to organize work, easily access data and computing resources and execute end-to-end -end model development workflows. Oracle says it improves productivity, reduces operational costs and deploys machine learning solutions to power users' digital transformations initiatives. Datascience.com CEO Ian Swanson says, Data science requires a comprehensive platform to simplify operations and to deliver value at scale. With Datascience.com, customers leverage a robust, easy-to-use platform that removes barriers to deploying valuable machine learning models in production. We are extremely enthusiastic about joining forces with Oracle's leading cloud platform so customers can realize the benefits of their investment in data science. Oracle Platform Executive Vice President Amat Savory said, Every organization is now exploring data science and machine learning as a key way to proactively develop a competitive advantage. With the combination of Oracle and Datascience.com, customers will be able to harness a single data science platform to more effectively leverage machine learning and big data for predictive analysis and improved business results. This week, Google employees quit over the involvement in the Pentagon drone project. A dozen Google employees have quit their jobs in protest against the company's involvement in Project Maven, a US Defense Department program that uses artificial intelligence to interpret video images and assist in targeting enemies in drone strikes. According to a report on Gizmodo, the employees were concerned both over the use of AI in drone warfare and the company's political decisions and the degree to which the trust of users would be eroded by this decision. As ITY reported last month, rank and file workers along with senior engineers had submitted a letter to senior management to protest against the company's involvement in Project Maven. The letter had more than 3,100 signatures and was published by the New York Times. Apart from Maven, Google is also trying to win a 10 billion US dollar cloud contract from the US Defense Department, which is to be awarded before the end of the year. But many employees believe there would be strong objections to providing cloud services to support combat operations. This week sees Budget Irish Airline looking to shut all of its data centers in a complete switch to AWS. Europe's busiest airline was already an AWS customer and it's using its flexible cloud infrastructure to support Ryanair.com and its hotel booking site, Ryanair Rooms, as well as using Amazon's simple storage service S3 for its company Data Lake and Amazon's Kinesis for its analytics. It is also migrating from Microsoft SQL server databases to Amazon's more popular Aurora. This will help the airline run its email marketing campaigns at much lower costs. Naturally, the airline runs email marketing at a massive scale, sending out 22 million emails daily to customers about travel bookings or sales events. John Hurley, Ryanair's CTO said, Machine learning is hugely important to our growth and we're pursuing a variety of AWS machine learning services, including Amazon SageMaker to enhance the customer UI experience and personalize the My Ryanair portal for every unique traveler. This week sees Australia's federal government's 2018 to 2019 budget earmarks 29.9 million Australian dollars for artificial intelligence and machine learning. Over four years, the funding will be split between programs at the Department of Industry, Innovation and Science, which will receive the lion's share of the funding. The budget document states, this measure supports business innovation in sectors such as digital health, 
digital agriculture, energy, mining and cybersecurity. The government said it would fund the development of a technology roadmap and the standards framework for AI as well as a national AI ethics framework. Together they will help identify opportunities in AI and machine learning for Australia and support the responsible development of these technologies. I'm Brad Nelson, I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram. You can also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.